Hey, greetings to you. I want to show off to you one of my creations here, and that is my bike mounted. No, 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 no. Tripod that I made just for the rack time folding rack here. Uh, it involves, well, first of all, there's Mr. Sony right there. It's a hell of a camera. It's the, uh, the something, 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 3000, 4K, blah, blah, blah. The, uh, the stabilization of the picture is really quite awesome. This is from the Ram Mounts Company. And it goes between one inch balls. One of them is uh, thread up into the camera and one of them is thread down into this piece here, which is a piece that I designed on the computer in SolidWorks, solved all the geometry for. And that has, uh, you can't see it, but it's two pieces that are glued together and there's a piece of plywood in there, laser cut to add stiffness and strength. Yeah. And these are carbon fiber sticks from the Dragon Plate Company. And, uh, and they join let me show you. They join, they join like this. Sorry, these, little, these are little protector dooly doos that I made. Ah, shoot. I wasn't ready for this. Hang on, pause. So you can buy the raw stick, and then you can buy uh, these ends here for them. So yeah, it, uh, I just took these little cap protectors I have off, but uh, these metal ends you get in addition, these are aluminum here, and it comes with little kits and glues and things that you use to glue them onto the ends of the carbon fiber sticks that you buy yourself and cut yourself with a special kind of epoxy glue, and so they can thread into each other, like so. That's what that is there. Sorry about the focus problems here just now. I'll drop those. These are more 3D printed pieces here that, uh, that I figured out on the computer. And they, there's, there's these two biscuit pieces with a channel down the middle, which then uh, receives, there, oh, there we go. This piece and this piece with glued on washers for strength. And uh, between these two, there's this like hole that is where this rod goes. And so that's how you have this and this gripping, holding on to the back of there. And then uh, up here in front, this Y-shaped contraption, you can see that the, uh, sorry, the bike's falling over. Uh, you can see the, there's those two biscuit pieces that are grabbing onto this rod right here. That's part of the rack. And then there are three of these positions, uh, one for when the camera is directly behind me, looking at the back of my head or directly backwards, and then left and right. So like... If I'm going to be riding in America where we drive on the right side of the road, I want the camera on my right so that uh, like a passing truck doesn't catch it. But if I'm on the left side of the road, like in Thailand, then I want the camera on my left side and not poking out into, into traffic. Okay. And the whole point of this is so that the camera is off to the side. So I'm going to do an experiment today where I'm going to ride around this way. And the whole idea is that you can kind of see where we're going but without it wibble wobbling with the, uh, with the handlebars and without uh, and also, with also uh, being high up. So you see over, you know, passing cars and mailboxes and stuff. And so I think it's gonna be pretty neat. I, I don't even want, to, want you to know how many months I spent just spurging the hell out of this contraption, but it's pretty cool, isn't it? The way it worked out and uh, I have high hopes. So a previous video in time, you'll see I was using this camera mount here, which is nice and easy. It's just always there. But now, for the next video coming up, riding around Arlington Heights, uh, it's going to be up here. By the way, uh, remember I was talking about the plug, that device I have in the front that's uh, internally wired to Mr. Generator? USB comes out. And do do do. This is just the camera that it's the camera. This is the cable that the cell phone came with. And I click on Mr. Cell Phone, which I'm holding now, right onto there. Plug it in, and I can do maps all day with it. It's quite, quite nifty. All right. Well, enough showing off. Let's see if this works. 